You made me do this! <laughs> Hello friends, Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, returns with Project Zomboid. Oh my goodness, what a sleep we had. Um, nothing seems to have gone wrong. I'm relatively happy that we, we do have a little, uh, a little humble home. I'd like to figure out what is in this other room over here. Um, I don't know, maybe we can get a sledgehammer, break down the wall. <laughs> we'll figure it out, one way or the other. Um, I'll probably end up hanging a sheet rope down there, and uh, try to live my life on the second floor as much as possible. Still lacking some, uh, some barricades and shit like that. Quite a few barricades, actually. But, um, hopefully we can find an axe today in somebody's garage, something like that. And, uh, yeah. And then extreme profit. <laughs> That's the plan, at least. Things don't always go according to plan in Project Zomboid, unfortunately. But that's okay. We'll figure it out. We're well rested. We're uh, highly motivated young men and women. And there's that fucking gas station again. Yeah, I really should uh, grab that generator. Try and find my hoose. Maybe it wasn't north that I was going. I'm sure I don't live too far. Honestly, there were a shit ton of sheets in the house that I decided to uh, bed down in, so it's not a big deal, the ones that I left. However, I would like to go back and uh, see exactly what what is there, if I need some of the things. Surely I do. We all need things, don't we? It's what life's about, or something. Hmm. Is this the one? No. No. I put a sheet on the window. Oh, there's a lot of two-story brick houses. What the fuck? Oops. Pardon me, sir. And somebody left the door open on this one? That is just, uh, not very responsible. Not very responsible at all. Okay. So yeah, I've totally been down this way. <laughs> at least we're held up near the police station now. I would like to find just a garage or something. And I could get an axe. Oh my god, wouldn't it be wonderful? But uh doesn't seem to be in the cards, at least not yet, but that's okay. I just need to do a little more digging. That's what that means. Wow, I ran right by that zombie. He didn't see shit. Open this, climb through this. Oh god. Should we close it? I guess we should close it. Empty gas can, I will take. Can fill that up on the way back, I do hope. Hit the plank, a little bit of wood glue, duct tape. Everybody likes that. Useful. So useful. Hmm. How about over here? A little bit of rope. Hmm, not exactly what I was hoping for, but. Not, not terrible pickings, I suppose. I'll take a plank here, a plank there. There we go. Close window. You just gotta dig through uh, a few of these garages. Dig on through. Another empty gas can. And there's a generator. Let's take this. Can I? Can I take this? Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it's a heavy one. 12 pounds. Put in bag? Cannot put in bag. Oh, man. That's not good. Alright, just, just put it on the floor. 
come back for it. There's plenty of generators strewn about, I suppose. I want to get these gas cans filled before we worry about the generator too much. Because the power is still on. So I don't need to freak out quite yet. But that time is coming. <laughs> don't you worry. Angler USA magazine. Glue. More gas cans. I take it. That's good. I take it. A little more rope. Mm-hmm. Alright. We're carrying a little too much now. But that's fine. <sighs> We're gonna be just awesome. I'm gonna wield this bat. Get to the gas station now. And we'll fill up cans. That music coming out of nowhere kind of fucking flipped me out a little bit. <laughs> I must admit. Oh, we're okay. We're fine. Here, put this saw. The saw away and the screwdriver and the hammer and the kitchen knife. We don't need all this shit. Just the gas cans. We will fill the gas cans. Then we'll start a bonfire. That's something that normal people do, isn't it? This is a normal human thing, is it not? I can't remember anymore. It's been so long since I had contact with any people at all. The last thing I remember is a horde of screaming zombies running after me, saying, Brains! Brains! And it's like, you know, I knew I was smart, or whatever, but I never knew that they'd want my brain specifically so bad. <laughs> See, the joke is that the guy isn't smart because he doesn't realize that anybody, anybody's brain would do. It, it, it's it's uh, a humorous anecdote, <laughs> or maybe not even that humorous. <sighs> I don't fucking know. Lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lollipop. <gasps> bo bo bo. Hmm. Yeah, I live over here. Oh my god! Please don't. Did you almost bite me? You almost bit me. You fuck. You stupid fuck! You're dead! See what happens? Do you see what happens? Tisk tisk. I was hoping you would learn your lesson. I wouldn't have to do this. You made me do this! Take fuel. Oh yeah. Oh. Take fuel. Take all fuel. Hmm. Now we're full up. Now we're full up, boy. Can I shove these in the in the bag? Yeah, that'll do. Shit. That's a victory if I've ever seen one. Three full cans of gas. <gasps> I'm sure we can get some more. I guess living in town is uh not always such a bad idea. We'll see, I guess, once like a shit ton of zombies start spawning. But right now it seems pretty manageable. I really would like to get an axe so I can fucking get a little gate or something going. <sighs> but we can only work with what we got thusly. Nah. Na na na. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. This is the police station, I think. Which means my house is just over this way. Yeah, you see? The one with the broken window? <laughs> That's where I live! For now. For just a little while. But I do like this little, uh, this little cutback right here. If any zombies are following you, they will surely be thrown off. Oh. There's a bunch of stuff in the garbage over here. Hmm. Well. Could I just throw stuff on the floor? Would that be okay? 
Would anybody have a problem if I threw gas cans on the floor? Okay, just uh, don't smoke in here, I guess. Everything will be fine. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to remember. But they are just like a red thing on the floor. I guess it'll be kind of hard to forget. Won't it, Dayton? Won't it? You're fucking right it will. Alright, little rope, little plank, glue, duct tape. I'll keep all of my uh, tools with me, I suppose. Hmm. And only one adhesive bandage because I don't plan to get fucking caught. Although eventually I will, because because it's Project Zomboid, and it's a mean, mean game. I still have hope that we can find an axe somewhere around here. I'm gonna go ahead and explore. Ooh, ooh, explore next door. Trapping for beginners. I think I need that. Maybe. Doesn't matter. Comic book. Comic book, magazines. Yeah, I think this is just a uh, a bunch of bullshit. Ooh, carpentry. I definitely do need though. We're gonna need to do some carpentering before uh, before too long. Bunch more magazines. Yeah, we're not gonna find an axe in here. I'll tell you that right now. Fuck. I was so hopeful upon first glance. <laughs> Look at all those fucking shelves of stuff. Oh, it's just paper. It's all paper goods. Paper goods aren't even that good. Don't you understand? It's alright. There still might be something in here. Hey, friendo. Friendo. Oh, this is a post office. No shit. There's little mailboxes on the wall. Isn't that fun? I'll go behind the desk. Go behind the desk. Help these zombies out. Hello, sir. What can I do for you today? Beat your brains in with a bat? Surely. <laughs> hmm. Well, yeah, I guess this building is just a post office, so I will go to the the red building next door and hope for uh, a little more luck. Hey, bitch. Hey, bitch. What do you do, bitch? Ah, that's nice. That's nice. Painkillers. Ooh. Mint candy from the garbage. Ooh. <laughs> I like it. You can eat trash. It's good. Oh. Yes. I will need all of this. And I also found a sandbag, which is awesome, so I can, like, transplant some dirt and things like that. Um, so I can get a little garden going on a roof, even, if I could figure out how to get up to the roof. That would be cool. Yes! Yes! Found the axe. Fan-fucking-tastic. All right. So, uh, next step, we're gonna go ahead and chop some trees down. I'm feeling a little peckish, so I'll, I'll eat some of my treats. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad we were able to do it. Alright. So, uh, I just gotta find some trees. Maybe on the main street. <laughs> this is a normal thing. Everybody stand back. This is fucking normal. All right. Uh I'm going to need that axe. Yeah, I'm I'm going to need the axe in my hands if you don't mind. All right. There we go. Ch chop. Chop. Excellent. We are well on our way. We are saving the day. Those logs are so fucking heavy. Nine pounds each. I think I should have chopped them down uh, closer to my house, maybe. <laughs> Can I put them in the bag? At least one. So I don't break my fucking back. The 
that'll do. I should probably uh, patch up that one broken window around the back. First things first and all. And I think I need my saw. Yes. This saw will do nicely. Okay, so I think I could uh, saw some logs. Oh yeah. And by saw some logs, I mean like literally not just having an app because that's also like, you know, a euphemism. Euphemisms are usually sexual, but not all the time. <laughs> Learning with Dayton does. Uh, can we put another one? Nope. Start on this one. Oh yeah. We're getting places now, man. This is extremely hopeful. And I'm glad that I uh, sat down to read my carpentry book before we started all this. Oh my god, music, can you please stop? <laughs> Give me shit. Ugh. Yeah. Just, uh, knock some more nails in. And we'll go ahead and get another tree chopped down. Man, those go quick, don't they? It's alright. We got uh, a pretty good amount of trees out here in front. I'm grateful. <laughs> Grateful for your sacrifice, trees. Bless you. I can save my own life now. Because of you! Because of you! More logs, more planks, we're gonna do the thing. I work so hard and do some stuff. Where are the, where are the planks? Oh, on the ground. I threw it on the ground. Hmm. Yeah, three pounds. That's pretty heavy, too. That ain't no joke. And then grab these planks. And we'll put put them on a thing. Like we do. Heavy load. Heavy load. Heavy load. Heavy load. Oh, it's okay, little restaurant. We're gonna keep you nice and safe. And if I have enough planks, I'll, uh, I'll go do the fucking police station, too. It can be my little home away from home. My humble hideaway. There we go. That's making me feel nice. Oh, I need some more planks. Pardonnez-moi? Pardon? Yeah. This is a, a nice constructive use of the day. I'm so glad that everything was relatively, like, in the same spot. So now we've got a shit ton of weapons, a shit ton of food, um, basically all the, all the sandbags and shit, um, that I could want. I'll need to fill those up so I can get my farming stuff going. But yeah, it's, it's seeming pretty good. I'll need to make some walls in short order. But that's completely doable as well. I'm really liking that. Liking that a lot. Oh, there's only three on that one. Here, have one more. You like that a lot. <laughs> back and forth. Back and forth. We need some more? Yep. Suppose we do. Suppose and so. Dang. I don't think these trees will uh, ever grow back either, which kind of makes me sad. But it's for the greater good. The greater good. Chop, chop, chop. Gotta do this now. Chop, chop, chop. Can you show me how? Chop, chop, chop. Cause I am dating dust. Chop, chop, chop. I do it just because. Yes, he chops, chops, chops. He's got some chops, chops, chops. And then he plank, plank, plank on top of some shit. Cause that was cool five years ago. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I give up. Um, what, what do you want me to say? Jesus. 
This is this is so heavy. So heavy planks. See if I can ease this burden just a little bit. Mmm, yeah. I don't like that. Extremely heavy load. Risking that back pain, son. Gah, please, no. I just hate to move the logs one at a time. What a pain in my rear. I uh, need more planks. Yeah, Project Zomboid is just that sort of game, though, I suppose. If you want to live, you got to take your time. You got to do it right. This is the secret. And, uh, yeah, I'd like to just reiterate how fucking happy I am to get back to Project Zomboid as a series because it is super fun trying to pick the right spot, build your base, not get overrun by zombie hordes. We're definitely going to have to do a little work in that department. Um... <laughs> Because I know the zombies are going to end up showing up here en masse in pretty short order. <laughs> it doesn't take long for them to get their shit together. Hmm. A little more. A little more. Every time. Do the thing. Alright. Ah. And back we go. Into the breach! Into the breach! Yeah, we could fit a log in our bag. A single log. And I think it might be lighter than chopping it up into planks first. At least I hope so. So here, pick this up. Oh yeah. It's still super heavy. But it is slightly lighter, I suppose. No threatened back injury, which, uh, I guess I'll thank my lucky stars for that one. Get on down there, boy. We got more windows to barricade. We ain't half done. Work day ain't half through. I don't know what you're thinking about. Saw all of these. Ah. Oh, so glad we were able to find all this stuff so quickly. Um, yeah, we're only... In like the third or fourth day still in the first week and we're uh, doing relatively well at getting secured I like feeling secure that's all anybody really wants in this life isn't it god damn it all right so we're gonna need mm, four five and then nine so I think we'll need to chop down Two more trees? Three more trees? There's certainly enough around here, which is the nice thing. Um, there. Stick that last plank up. There you go. There you go, boy. Running back and forth. Making my, my house into a home. Or some shit like that. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get some of these trees over here. This tree at the church. Are you okay with this, Jesus? I'm sorry in advance. I cannot tell a lie. I did chop down your tree, Jesus. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was for the greater good. The greater good. Alright. Not bad. Movement speed highly reduced. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's fine, bro. Got to get some on the other side. Oh, look, we got an air conditioner, dude. We are fancy. Fancy as fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah. Saw some logs. Almost done. That is so fantastic. Found the axe. We're able to get everything fucking squared away today. So, uh, we can concentrate on some, some new and better projects tomorrow. Like, the wall. <laughs> We're gonna build the wall. <laughs> oh my god, that's not gonna get old until November. <laughs> then it'll be old. But by that time, we'll have forgotten about it, anyways. And barricade that one. Very good. I think things went extremely well. Um, we might need one more tree. 
One more tree. One more tree. One more tree. One more tree. It is a good time. I like chopping up all these trees. I like doing all this stuff. Do I need more nails? Is that what I'm missing? Because I do have a plank. Hmm. Okay. I need to go find some nails. Where did I put my nails? There's a whole box of them. There's a whole box of them! Oh my god! Open this. I need it now. Oh, and nighttime's coming. Nighttime's coming. Still got some some errands to finish up. Bunch of sheets to attach to windows and shit like that. You guys just don't understand. So we need uh, three more. Three more planks. One more log. I think we can do that. I think we can do that before bed. It'll be for the best. Trust in me. Believe in me. Yep, we need to get this one away from the fire hydrant. It's a safety security risk. The inspector's gonna come down here. He's gonna have a fucking field day. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Okay. I guess I'll just take one log. One log. That's all I need. Because I think that chops up into three planks. That'll do. Saw. Saw log. And then we're also going to uh, saw logs. Because it is getting to be nighttime. <clears throat> I don't want to be stuck out here. All on my lonesome. That's fucked up. <clears throat> and I think that'll be the last, uh, the last barricade that we need. Excellent. So we did a good thing today. Went ahead and secured this restaurant. I need to get my uh, sheet rope and things like that going, but that uh, that'll come in due time. I'm relatively satisfied with uh, what we got so far, um, and I hope you guys are liking how things are shaping up as well. Do let me know what you're thinking, um, and I'll try to implement some of your ideas because, uh, yeah. Aside from just surviving, I don't really have much of an idea of what to do. <laughs> but this has been Project Zomboid. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I sincerely hope that you will like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. And if you do, friends, I will send you a golf club. Uh, it's good for you. You can, you can hit people with it if you want. <laughs> Hopefully they're zombies, though. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one, friends. Thanks for watching, and until then, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye. See you, my friends.